any reporters in there? No. Any salesmen? No. What's the matter, Mr. B? Oh, Hazel, I'm in a lot of trouble. Oh, yeah. I know about some of it. Answer the phone and lock the door. George, what's the matter? Hazel, what happened? You may as well know, Missy. He's got the winning ticket in the sweepstakes. The sweepstakes? A winner? <laughs> oh, George, how wonderful! <laughs> That's why Mayor Dixon's coming over to congratulate you. Mayor Dixon? Oh, no! <laughs> I've gone over every possibility, Mayor Dixon, and I can't imagine who would have bought that ticket in my name. Even as a joke. No, uh, it's a frame-up, I tell you, a frame-up. I know these people, George. Oh. Hazel, do you want something? Well, the plants needed watering. They've already been watered. Well, I thought maybe you might want something, you know, a little snack or something. Hazel, we just finished dinner. What about another cup of coffee? You'd like another cup of coffee, wouldn't you, Your Honor? No, no, no thanks, Hazel. Hazel, the only thing we want is a little privacy. Oh. Well, if there, if there is anything, just, just let me know. George, the big syndicate is behind this. I know it is. By discrediting you, they get at me and our entire administration. <laughs> So, what are you doing? Oh, Missy, you know very well that I'd give my right arm before I'd hurt you or Mr. B. Well, of course, Hazel, and, and we wouldn't want to hurt you. Well, maybe when all this is over, you can explain to him that I didn't mean no harm by what I'd done. What are you talking about? His birthday present. The fine one it turned out to be. Oh, Hazel, he likes your handkerchiefs. He's always liked your handkerchiefs. Yeah, but this year I gave him more than handkerchiefs. That's what all the trouble's about. Well, don't be silly. It's just this sweepstakes that... <laughs> Hazel. <laughs> well, that wasn't you. <laughs> George, we'll get the chief of police started on this thing. The first thing in the morning. We'll round up every possible suspect. I am not going to stop on this thing until I get a signed confession. Publicly and in print. Mr. B, if it'll do you any good, I'll, I'll, I'll sign a confession any time. Confession, Hazel? Confession of what? About what you and His Honor was talking about. The sweepstakes? You? <laughs> oh, no. For your birthday. Hazel, do you mean to say you were the one that set up this trap that has compromised my administration? I bought the ticket. Where? How? Well, I didn't know it was going to be a winner and, and cause all this trouble. But if I've broken any laws, I'm willing to take my punishment just like anybody else. All right, all right. Now, don't be upset and excited. Oh, I'm not excited. All I've done... All right, all right, was... Hazel. Yes, I know your motives were innocent. Ah, oh, no, it isn't the small fry, the people who buy these tickets that we want to punish. Oh, it's the ones that sell them. The vultures that prey on well-meaning, law-abiding people like yourself. I didn't buy no ticket from no vulture. It was... <laughs> well, Hazel, who was it? You can help us a lot. No, I can't tell you, Mr. B. I gave my word. Your word to some thug or gangster? No, it wasn't no gangster. Well, who was it, Hazel? Now, this is important. It is your civic duty, Hazel. You should not allow misplaced loyalty to shield vicious malefactors. All right, now, who was it? I'm sorry, Your Honor, but I don't remember nothing more. Well, Hazel, did they come here to the house? I don't remember. Well, if necessary, we can question you all night. Well, that's all right with me, Mr. B, but it won't improve my memory none. Well, since...